Due to not having permission to use DVD footage of Retro Game Master or Game Center CX in this review, I have only used the approved image of the DVD cover. Game Center CX and all its copyrights belong to Fuji TV. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Gamer Logic. I'm Mike Murtis, and today we're doing a review of Retro Game Master, the Game Center CX collection. This is a Japanese show that's been out since 2003 over in Japan, and its basis is that Chief Areno here is the main player, and he is given games by his staff, and usually he has to complete them in one day. Sometimes he's playing anywhere from 8 to 13 hours. Occasionally he gets extension on games to try to beat them. The thing about Areno is he's no pro whatsoever. Yeah, he's a gamer, but he's not great by any means. And that's what makes the show great, is the fact that Arena will be stuck in some place for an hour, two hours, three hours, and he'll finally beat it. He'll finally get past this thing. The staff will cheer. Even though the viewer cheers, it's great. And I think that the fact that if he was a pro to say, then he just blew through every game, I don't think it would be that interesting. So the fact that he's just a semi-decent player really makes the show lovable. Now, this show has had some attempts to try to come over to America a couple of times. Uh, I know Fuji TV was trying to get the someone to buy rights essentially to put DVDs of this out. They already had them subtitled and everything. Uh, nothing really worked out there unfortunately and from there Kotaku, the gaming website, actually got the rights to air some English episodes of this. And what they did was they kept uh, Areno's dialogue in Japanese as well as the staff and subtitle, but they replaced the Japanese announcer audio with a brand new English audio announcer. And I, I don't mean to be mean, but he, he really wrecks the experience for you. Uh, he's overly obnoxious, way too excited. He makes the show feel very, very cheesy. I did not enjoy it whatsoever. I did enjoy the fact that Kotaku was trying to bring Game Center CX over here, but the presentation with the English announcer just ruined it. Now, with the release of this, this does have that English announcer on there through 12 episodes. But the fantastic thing about this collection is the fact that you can turn the English announcer off and put the original Japanese announcer back in to make the show more complete. You know, I turned on the English version um, downstairs. My wife was watching it. She's watched the regular Japanese episodes with me in the past. And right away, she's hearing the English announcer and she goes, wow, this is awful. Like, turn him off. Can you please turn him off? So I turned him off and we went back to the regular Japanese audio and the show just felt like its normal self again. And again, that's the great thing about this is that if you've seen the Kotaku episodes and you did not like the English announcer, you can turn them off. You can go right back to the original Japanese episodes with the original audio. And that is a major plus. Now, in the actual show, there's some segment, segments in between the game playing. Uh, sometimes Arena will go around Japan visiting arcades or candy shops, or he'll interview uh, certain figures at game companies and stuff like that. Those segments are not on this. And actually, they're not on the Japanese DVD release either because they usually can't get rights for the music or for the locations and stuff. So a lot of people on Amazon were kind of giving negative reviews towards this release because it didn't have that stuff. They're not on the Japanese DVD releases, so I, I really don't think you can really count against it. Yeah, there are awesome segments that you really wish could be on there because it's cool seeing Japanese arcades. It's cool seeing these candy shops and other different locations over in Japan. But you gotta understand licensing reasons is the reason why a lot of stuff doesn't appear. Hint, hint. So overall, this is a great collection. It comes with 14 episodes. There's a variety of different games on there. Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2 are on there. Um, Super Fantasy Zone was on there, Solomon's Key, Clock Tower, the first Clock Tower, which is a favorite of mine, Mighty Bomb Jack, which is another great one, SOS, another favorite of mine on the Super Nintendo. A lot of great games are collected here. Unlike some of the Japanese DVD releases where the Season 1 episodes are collected, Season 2 episodes are collected, these range from a different amount of seasons. So you may have one episode in Season 1, a couple episodes in Season 2, etc. And I like the fact that they jump around, some people may not like that, but there were some games in certain seasons that were just really boring, like quiz show games and stuff like that, and, and as good as a job as Arena did playing them and trying to stay funny, uh, they were a little bit boring, so it's nice that they kind of jump around here. But overall, if you're a fan of Game Center CX, 
you more than likely pick this up because you want to support the American release, you want to support the Chief, and uh, if you haven't checked out Game Center CX yet, you can look for it online. Just type up uh, Game Center CX on YouTube or anything to check out an episode, and maybe you'll really get into this show. Now, really quick, if you're not familiar with uh, the games, there were actually two different games that came out based on Game Center CX. Over here, it's known as Retro Game Challenge, but they were actually known as Game Center CX. The games over in Japan, there was actually a second version that was released in Japan, the sequel, and this is also great. And unfortunately, this never came out in America, which is a shame. So hopefully, with the fact that this, this sold okay, it sold decently, it's kind of known as a cult classic, Maybe with a little luck, we can get some additional releases here with this selling well with another Game Center CX collection. And maybe, just maybe, we might be able to see the second game come out. And that would be truly excellent. But maybe with the fact that, you know, DS isn't really around too much anymore, it's all 3DS, maybe it won't happen, which would be unfortunate. But overall, I give the Game Center CX collection, Retro Game Master Game Center CX collection, a 5 out of 5. It's excellent collection, it's got some great games on there, it's really well done, and I would give it a star alone for the simple fact that you can get rid of that damn English announcer. Pick this up, folks. Have a good one. Peace.